What's going on everybody? We are back. Not every day you can work on the speed three, but a lot of speed threes are a lot of speed threes are coming. <laughs> oh my god. A lot of speed three videos are coming in the future. We have tons to do to it. We have tons for it. But we also have some stuff to do on the Miata. If you guys didn't know, April 28th, which is in like a week from now, or this upcoming Sunday, we have an event. Dustin is throwing an event at one of his warehouses. I'll put the location down in the description below. But you guys should come. It is April 28th. I think it'll start probably around noon-ish, but I will put it in the description below. And today, I want to get the Miata ready for that. I'm bringing both of my cars. The Speed 3 and the Miata will be there. But the problem with the Miata is that the engine bay looks so crappy, in my opinion. So I need to take off all of these things, clean it up completely, paint everything, and make it look solid. So without further ado, I'm gonna take everything off, put you guys up for a time lapse, and watch this. I have taken so much off the car. Didn't realize how much I was getting into. I pretty much at this point could do a water pump if I wanted to, which is kind of like a biggish deal on a Miata and pretty much on any car. But the water pump is literally right there. So I took off every single cover because I'm gonna paint it, but that involved a lot of stuff. I had to get off the crank pulley, the water pump pulley, both the belts, the accessory belts, and what else did I do? Unclipped a lot of stuff. Took off the valve cover, and here is everything. This actually came off the other day, not just right now. Got this bad boy off, valve cover off, this off of the intake manifold, water pump pulley, crank pulley, two belts, and all of these covers that I'm going to be painting. Before I forget, I did get an oil catch can for this car. I'm telling you that because I actually didn't film it. I did this like two months ago. Um, obviously this isn't set up right now because it goes in the valve cover. I'm just telling you this because I actually didn't film it and I did it a couple months ago and usually I film this stuff. It's not even close to full into this thing and it's been in there for a couple months. So we're not getting a ton of blow by in this motor which is solid. But yeah, just bolted it right up to the frame right here and it's uh, good. So one thing I need to do, it's really grimy in here as you guys can see back here. I've already tried to clean up the front a little bit. Black obviously looks better when it's clean, but I need to clean up the blue spots in the back. I never really showed me painting this really good in any kind of video, but the tube front end is painted black, and then I painted everything black, including the chassis right here. Pretty much where the strut tower is back is blue, which I really like. The whole theme of this car is to be blue and black, if you couldn't, have, couldn't tell yet. There's blue couplers everywhere, blue, blue, blue couplers everywhere. And then we got the black pretty much accenting everywhere. Here's what I have for paint. It's all VHT, and it's all like super high temperature stuff. Obviously those covers aren't going to see very high temperatures, but I have silver, blue, and black. I was thinking about doing the intake manifold, but that's just a ton of work to get the intake manifold off. And usually when I take things off, I want to get new gaskets for them, and really just don't want to do that right now. Probably hold back on the intake manifold. I painted the last 1.8 in intake manifold, and I really don't want to do it again because I'm just salty about the whole thing. Because I got the last 1.8 that I didn't really film me putting in, even though I, there is a video or two on the channel of the 1.8 the original 1.8 and I made it look really really good and then I got really butt hurt because when I turned it over it had horrible oil oiling issues and uh, yeah so I put this new 1.8 in from JD California they're super cool guys they hooked it up fat with that motor and I didn't paint anything so it looks really bad right now but I'm super excited to make it look better make it look better for the meetup especially because when you guys come and see the Miata I'm gonna take the front bumper off I'm gonna have the hood exposed, you may basically the hood up, and then I'm gonna let you guys see everything. So it's gonna be really tight. You guys definitely should come out to that. Have both my cars there. This will be my stopping point for tonight. I just cleaned all those. I'm gonna barely clean them again tomorrow before I spray. And then I need to clean the valve cover, take all the stuff off the valve cover so it doesn't get damaged in any way, and then start spraying.
everything is pretty much off. Everything that is off is right here. And here are the painted pieces. This is like a, almost like a royal blue. I did the oil cap, all the timing covers, and in this black color, which I'll show you in the light in a second, it's like a black with a really nice sparkle to it. All I did was the valve cover there. This is obviously gonna go on to there, so it'll look a little bit different contrast. And then I did that. That bottle over there is technically my coolant overflow tank, so we're just gonna make that look okay. Before it was white, and yeah, we painted it black to make it look a little bit better. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but this is like super, super sparkly in the light. Yesterday I got stung on the bottom of my foot by a bee, I believe. I'm not really sure what it was, but I pulled out a stinger. I didn't really see a bee, but there was a stinger in my foot, so I'm assuming it was a bee. And stepping right now it hurts so bad. So it definitely sucks being out here, but I need to get this done because there's a meetup I'm going to on Sunday. It's actually, uh, I think I might have talked about it in this video. Hopefully we get this thing back to running today and hopefully we tackle that thing tomorrow and the next day. There's a lot of things that need to happen on this before the meetup. So it's time to grind, guys. I'm gonna grind so hard right now. If you're not grinding, then what are you doing? I think it's the cringiest thing when YouTubers say they're, they're just grinding 24 seven, bro. Because realistically you're not and realistically you are, your life sucks. Whatever you have, I don't care, it sucks. <laughs> We're gonna get back to doing this and do a time lapse right now of hopefully most of things getting back on the car. So yeah, let's do this. <laughs> for a little minute and kind of went off course just just a little bit I didn't film as much as I wanted to show you guys but fenders are back on everything is back on essentially except for the front bumper and the turbo feed which I'm hopefully going to be getting here the restrictor size that I stripped out hopefully I'll be getting that in the mail here in a few seconds but here it is in the back right now look at this this is pretty dope honestly there's a ton of wires back there which I will be taking care of at some point in the build. I'm gonna make this look a lot cleaner. I'm gonna route I'm gonna route the vacuum lines a lot differently too, so we can get them all routed like pretty much under there more and hidden and come up around here. But overall, it's done really, really cleanly. The whole theme of everything is black and blue. So what we did today was the black valve cover, and in the light, this thing will sparkle like crazy. All the timing covers are blue. The couplers are blue, intercooler piping's black, intercooler's black, two front ends black. Here is our little coolant overflow tank. It's just zip tied to the existing wires right here, so it's a little shaky, but it looks really good and better than where it was before. And everything is blue and black. Here's the carnage. Can you tell which piece was where when I was painting? And I did paint out there, as you guys saw. Honestly, the engine bay, the engine bay is looking really, really good, and I'm contemplating when I go to the meet on Sunday, I'm contemplating leaving the front bumper off. I'll bring the front bumper, but I'm gonna take it off for the event because it looks so cool without a front bumper because you guys get to be able to see the tube front end and everything in person. And it's actually really cool because typically you can't be seeing through right here to the tire and stuff. There's a lot more access to everything in this car simply because the tube front end is there and you have a ton more room to work. That is it guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked me t painting the engine bay of the Miata, if you liked me painting all this stuff and making it look really, really good, then like the freaking video. If you appreciate this kind of content, make sure to leave a comment down below. If you guys liked the video, comment down below what was your favorite part. What is your favorite part about the build so far? And yeah, if you guys liked the video, like the video. If you didn't like the video, still like the video. Comment and subscribe. Adios guys.